as archaeologists and researchers go to different sites across the world. They work to uncover strange discoveries pertaining to the past of the human race, and how they can help us better understand our ancient past. Every now and then, however, such researchers come across impossible to explain ancient artifacts that led many to believe that perhaps something far more unexplainable has occurred throughout human history. One interesting photograph that's been shared around groups is that of a crystal skull, except this one appears to be in the shape of an alien. For those unaware, the crystal skulls are some of the most interesting yet controversial discoveries made by archaeologists. The skulls themselves are said to be pre-Columbian carvings, which are created using clear or white quartz. What makes these artifacts special though is that they're said to give off energy and vibrations. Archaeologists have had a difficult time documenting specific skulls. It's believed that the skulls most likely belong to the Mayan or Aztecs. However, some have said they could be even older. Back in 1924, Frederick Mitchell Hedges made his way to an ancient Mayan city. It was here that he found an ancient pyramid, and once there it was his daughter who found this strange artifact. She claimed that a descendant of the Maya told her that the skull had been used to control people, and even has the ability to cause death. The skull's fame luckily came from the incredible claims made by its owner. The story goes that extraterrestrials brought the artifact to Earth, where it was kept safe in Atlantis, the mythical city that was eventually lost to the depths. It's then said that the Knights of Templar came in possession of it and kept it safe. Anna has claimed that once she touched the skull, she was able to see into the future. The Mitchell Hedges website also states that the skull can cause zero gravity in certain environments. It's said that the skull discovered in the ancient pyramid is the original one, and that since then various duplicates have been made. This photograph that's been shared around groups claims that it's an original crystal skull, and that this one also has powers. The original poster said the following, I was sent these images by a friend who said this is an original crystal skull. My friend came into possession of it, but was warned that the skull carries a curse. She then said that she was approached by two government agents, who wanted to know more about the skull. Although she was confused as to how the two men knew about the skull, as she hadn't told anyone about it. She then said that when she came home one day the skull had vanished. End quote. Although the images are impressive and the story is interesting, one of the problems is that there's no way to back up what's being said. The skull is in the shape of an extraterrestrial, something that hasn't been seen before, and this has caused some to ask questions. All of the skulls that have allegedly been found are in the shape of a human skull, but this one isn't. Some suggested that the skull is a fake, but others don't believe this, and said that these skulls have powers that can't be explained. As of right now, the crystal skulls are still heavily debated. Another interesting discovery was made back in the month of April in 2000, when a Mexican mining company reportedly found a large underground cavern. This was while excavating a new tunnel. The discovery of underground caverns are not unheard of, especially those of whom are required to dig new tunnels and areas in fear of flooding. This discovery, however, proved to be one of substantial importance as the mining company reportedly discovered a cave filled with the largest crystals in the world. Now referred to as the Giant Crystal Cave, the cave holds the largest natural crystals ever found, with some being more than 39 feet in length and 13 feet in diameter. Unfortunately, at this time, researchers are unable to explore the caves, as the pressure results in air temperatures reaching up to 58 Celsius with a 99% humidity. Back in 2015, researchers discovered that the entire cave system had once again flooded, leading to the entire area being impossible to research at this time. In the near future, however, 
Researchers plan to search the entire cavern to discover the size and scope of the deeper crystals, and better understand the formation of the cave and the crystals themselves. Recently, archaeologists have come across what they think is the earliest depiction of Jesus. This drawing was discovered in an ancient tomb in Egypt, and the artwork itself shows what appears to be a young man. According to some Egyptologists, the painting could show the person raising his hands as if making a blessing. The Egyptologist who discovered the painting led a team to research the area. When he first discovered the drawing, he thought it was Christ. Before reaching the painting though, the archaeologists had to remove over 40 tons of rock, and after doing this, they finally discovered a crypt. After looking around, they could see several coats of paint on the wall, which was from the time of the first Christians. Currently, they're trying to translate some of the artwork. Incredibly, it's now being said that the tomb within the rock could be connected to Jesus, and could have been painted by those who knew him personally. During the excavation of the tomb, archaeologists were able to see the entire area, and even found a central chamber with other remains. Some are saying this is one of the biggest discoveries in regards to Jesus. However, some are not entirely won over. The drawing is quite faint, and this has led some to say that it could depict anyone, and that more proof is needed before we come to a conclusion. One of the researchers said the following about the image. His face is right there looking at us. Christ's depiction as a youth corresponds to the symbolic notion of baptism as a rebirth. End quote. While another researcher said the following. The curly hair, the way the figure is standing. To me, this looks like Jesus. End quote. As of right now, more studies are being conducted in the area. So what do you make of these interesting archaeological discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.